we're not trying to ban sale of fossils altogether, but if it's scientifically significant, it should be in a museum. In the end, the dueling dinosaurs did not sell at auction due to the outcry from scientists and the Society of Vertebrate Paleontologists. However, a museum in North Carolina purchased the fossils, a happy ending. Ever since then, as soon as a rare fossil is discovered, there is tension around whether it will be sold to a private buyer or end up at an institution. Without the commercial investment, the dueling dinos would have never been found. They were found, they were collected by a private commercial company that did it in a manner of documentation and expertise that very few museums even have. They're trying to rewrite all the regulations. So it is a constant battle to keep up with them and not let them stop you, you know, from pull up from what we do. A lot of people think people are getting rich over these things and what they don't understand is the cost of, of doing business is, is actually quite large. There's this balance there. The couriers want to get them to museums, but they also need to pay their bills. And so this is their livelihood. I, I call people wheelchair paleontologists, not to be disrespectful, but they don't get out of their damn chair in their office, you know, and we're out here doing stuff, finding stuff, making stuff happen. So, yeah. The digging and collecting of fossils would slow down to a snail's pace if it wasn't for commercial people. There's plenty of fossils for little kids and amateur collectors and commercial collectors and professional academic collectors. And there's plenty of stuff to go around. And I think it's one of these things of like, how do we learn to work together in this really positive ecosystem of paleontology? How do we um, try and get the really rare and important stuff into the hands of scientists and museums? My only option is to work with people that either own the land or have the leases. But I'm fine with that because, again, we try and practice what we call citizen science. We work with the Field House in Chicago. We, we work with the American Museum of Natural History. So we're really trying to get the fossils that deserve study. We're really, really trying to get those the attention they deserve.